Hello, welcome to Econ 1 online at Valley College. Uh, my name is Tyler Pronte. I'm going to be the professor for this class. And I put together this little video to introduce you to the class, talk about how to navigate our system a little bit, um, and then also to introduce the discipline, give you a little bit of an idea about what economics is all about. Um, so before getting into the mechanics, why don't we jump right in and talk just a little econ here to begin with. I'm thinking that a lot of you guys are going to be surprised about the types of topics that we're actually going to get into over this term. Um, I say this because a lot of people have this idea that economics is all about matters financial, or about investing, or about money, and things like this. Um, well, it's true that some economists will take on these issues sometimes. Uh, most of the discipline is devoted to other topics altogether. Uh, we're not going to talk about stocks and bonds or investments or anything like that throughout the term. Uh, instead, the central problem of economics is this issue of scarcity. Uh, maybe you guys have heard of that word before. Uh, scarcity means that the resources that we encounter, all the things that we see, are limited. Right? There's not an infinite, unlimited supply of various things that we encounter. Uh, you guys see scarcity all the time in your everyday life. Right? That's one of the reasons why I think economics is so interesting, because you can connect this so easily to things that we see all over the place. Um, for example, your time is something that is a scarce resource. You're watching this video right now, listening to me talk about microeconomics and go on and on about scarcity. Uh, what that means is that you can't use that same time to be doing other stuff instead. Going to work, taking another class, watching cat videos online, whatever it would be, you could be doing something else instead. But you're not, you're watching this video. So your time is therefore limited. Uh, businesses, of course, have to deal with scarce resources and make choices about how they're going to use them. For example, a firm uh, might have to make a decision about whether they want to hire more workers or instead invest in new machinery or instead advertise their product to a greater extent. So they've got scarce resources that they need to allocate. Um, our governments have scarce resources, right? If the state of California decides that they want to spend more money on education. It means that they can't then set, spend that same money on fixing roads or, um, or, or some other application. Right? So scarcity is all around us. And uh, this class is basically the study of how individuals make choices when dealing with those scarce resources. All right. Um, I want to talk a little bit now about what it's going to require to do well in the class. You guys have probably heard that economics is a challenging subject. We have a reputation for being a hard class, um, and I think that's fair. Um, econ is a hard topic, and it's going to require some hard work on your part to do well in here. This is particularly true given that we're taking, uh, you're taking this class online, so we're not going to have traditional lectures. Uh, and furthermore, this is a late start class, right? So you guys have been doing other stuff for the first half of the semester. We're going to condense a whole semester's worth of material into this last half of the term. Um, and so what it's going to take from you to do well in here and get everything that you're going to want to get out of the class um, is to really uh, be on top of things in terms of staying up with the reading, uh, staying up with the practice problems and the homework that you're going to see, and furthermore, uh, seeking out help if you're unclear. Right? If you're going through this and you're reading about something, taking on practice problems and you're stuck, uh, there's resources available to you to uh, get some help. It's up to you though to, uh, to access those. All right. Last thing that I want to point out to you guys in this first video here is uh, sort of like next steps, what you should do. Um, you should be able to see on the screen, I'm never sure which side they're on, but um, all kinds of different features here located on our homepage through Etudes. Um, two places to start. First, uh, go ahead and click on that syllabus button. Uh, once you do so, you'll be able to download the syllabus. That's a must. Familiarize yourself with the syllabus so that you're clear on all of our rules and things like that. Um, and then the other real important one for the time being is the modules button. All the material that you're going to encounter throughout the class will be presented in one of these modules. Okay, so click on that modules button and once you do so, the very first one is titled Getting Started. Right, good title. Um, that's the place to start. Once you do that, you'll be able to see a welcome letter and some more information about how to move around 
in our class over, uh, over the rest of the term. So again, welcome to Ecom 1. Uh, I'm looking forward to a fun half semester.